Hi and welcome to this Site Builder Reviews video. Today we're going to try and give you an overview of some of the features of the Yola Site Builder. Creating a new site with Yola starts with providing Yola some information on the type of website we would like to create. Once we select a category and provide a business name, Yola suggests a set of pages to start with. Then we have to answer questions about who we are, where we are located, what we do. Yola uses this information to fill in certain parts of our website. Next we have to pick a style or template for our site. Many of Yola's designs are made by design companies or freelance designers, which is why we have to pay extra for these designs. Once we have done all that, we get to Yola's page editor. The interface here is fairly straightforward. Along the top are menus to change the style or template, change the layout of the page, and to set a different background for our pages. Above that is a pull-down menu that lets us select what page we want to work on. To the right we see a selection of widgets. Each of these can be dragged and dropped onto our pages to add blocks of content or functionality to our site. Editing text is as simple as clicking on the text and we can start typing right away. Blocks can easily be moved around or deleted. If we want to change the font and the size of a text, we just select the text and make the necessary changes through the toolbar along the top of the page. These changes are per page and per block. There is no way to change all header texts on all pages at once. If you want to make a photo gallery page with Yola, you either have to construct the page out of simple image widgets or use the Flickr gallery widget which lets you embed a set of photos from Flickr. At the time of our review, the Flickr gallery widget was available in one visualization only. Much of Yola's additional functionality is actually done through the use of other services, from Flickr and YouTube to Mebo, Talkie, Appointment Plus and Genbook. Though many have a free subscription, some are only available at an additional monthly or annual fee. That's it for our quick overview of some of the features of Yola. Yola's feature set is fairly limited and users can soon find themselves having to pay additional fees for designs or extra functionality. Where Yola shines is for those who are setting up their first website and are not really sure how to proceed. If you are looking to build a website quickly but still have a lot to figure out about what and how your site should be, Yola could be a good starting point for you.